Hello, it's Nancy today. Well, I don't know if you can really see my face. Well, it's, uh, it's there. We both know. Well, I'm on my way. I have bitten the bullet and I am in the car on my way. I was going to change my tires. I still have my snow tires on, which is not really a good idea when you're going to drive 3,000 miles. But the treads on my snow tires were a lot better than the treads on my um, my regular tires. So I just I started to put on the regular tires, and then I just didn't think I should use them. So oh well. So I've just gone through the border, and I had to give her my oranges. I got to keep the grapes. She just wanted my oranges. Luckily, I ate one while I was waiting for her to talk to me. It must be Amish. Got horses pulling their wagon. Amish or Amish. It's a very bright day today. It's a good day. Part of me wants to just get there and then I remember that that's not really a good plan because if I think that way like let's just get there then I'm going to be very um, I'll be bored right because I'm thinking about something and when you're thinking about something that you can't have you're bored and so I, yesterday it was a beautiful day and I just wanted to go outside and be part of the day. And so I get out in my car and I just go for a drive because I just like to be... Wow, isn't that beautiful? Wow, that was a beautiful waterfall. I guess you'll never know. Oh, it's between... It's near Alexandria Bay. Between there and the bridge. It was a little waterfall but in the medium. Anyway, so I left this morning. It was about a quarter after eight when I got in the car. I had packed everything. I, I brought way too much. I brought my violin so I could play it for my mom. I brought some of my weaving and I brought a few books. I brought my finances and my bills so I could pay the bills. And I brought a lot of fabric to make hammocks. I wasn't going to, but the thought occurred to me and I thought, nah, I don't need that. And then the thought occurred to me again, and I know, like if Heavenly Father's going to inspire me something twice, then I better pay attention. So I brought it, and I brought some rope to make it into hammocks. And I decided, let's see, what else have I brought? I've got my cameras and my laptop, some clothes, and my temple clothes, because if you go to the temple down there, I think you have to bring your own clothes, so I brought that, and my temple recommends so I can get in. And I brought some scriptures, and I brought the music for my violin, and I brought stuff to make jewelry, my jewelry making stuff, and my raffia and pine needles for making pine needle raffia, pine needle baskets, and my shells. And I brought my willow. It was all, it's all been, um, it's all been wet, uh, soaked and mellowed. So I thought maybe I should use it up, make my willow. You know, I don't really have time for what I'm going to feel like doing. I really don't think I can make a mess in my mother's living room.
washed it for about a month and it's been in the um, a lot of salt and it's just freezing now it's supposed to be way below freezing at home but as I go south it'll get warmer I suppose and I brought two outfits short sleeve I brought what I'm wearing and two out two short sleeve outfits plus I was wearing my winter coat because I had to bring my winter coat because I was freezing it was cold at home I closed the door to the teepee so that the wild animals won't go in there and get the suet I don't know how long I'll be gone a couple weeks a month two months I'm not really sure to justify being at home when my mother is having so hard, hard a time when she's alone and Abraham has a way to get out of his um, to, to get home and he never eats what I make <sighs> so there's no sense cooking for him well he did eat last night oh you see my teeth I'm getting new teeth See, they fell out. I get the new ones will grow in. Oh wait, this is my artificial teeth. I would drop them down and show you, but some people get really grossed out. I don't really want to gross you out. I mean, I am old. 55. I mean, that is really pushing it, don't you think? Anyway, um, I'll, when I'm in Anderson, South Carolina, I'll get my new teeth. It's supposed to be in one year from when I got my dentures. Then they give me new dentures. Because I've that's what I bought. I bought a temporary set. It was a plan. The plan is you get a temporary set and in six months they reline them. And then in a year you get a permanent set. So I'm gonna get permanent teeth down there. I hope they don't hurt. Stay in Georgia a while just to make sure that that I'm doing okay with my teeth. Now my car is very old. It's got 417,000 kilometers on it. Okay, the speed limit is 65. Yeah, but I don't want to go that fast. I'm gonna just stay. I'll go about 58. I think that would be okay. If I stay under 60, it'll take less gas. But you know, I drove all the way from home to Georgia and it cost me $80 or six, was it 60 or $80? It didn't cost that much for gas. Maybe it was three Phillips, $60? 80 seems higher than I think it was. Anyway. I 
I saw some lakes, some ducks on the lake. I, I guess it's the Thousand Islands, so I guess it's the river. I saw some ducks. I was going to stop and look at them. Anyway, what I was going to say about stopping, I think that I should stop when it's beautiful and take 15 minute breaks. Not just wait until I have to go to the bathroom. and appreciate nature like that place right there that was very pretty I and I, I don't do that right I just drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and so to me it's just a boring old drive but if I were to stop whenever I see a pretty spot a stream or something I can pull over on the shoulder or if it's emergency parking only if it's not a safe place you know then I can pull out <sighs> I'm at mile 811, which is probably from the edge of the county, right? Or it's 7305, and there's a third number below it, which is 1348. Does that mean anything to you? Oh, you know exactly where I am? Perfect. Perfect. What's that? You sending a bomber? No. Nobody would do that to good old Nancy today. Perch River WMA Refuge Area. Oh, it's pretty down there, and there's a road that goes down to it. See, I have to be careful because what I end up doing, oh, here comes a police officer in one of those big black unlabeled cars. It's number 111. You have to be careful. It's better to put your control on and just not have to worry about your speed. If you don't speed, if you stay in your lane and you obey the rules, you'll be okay. I, I told her at the border that I had willow for basket making and she says, well, is it in plant form? Willow, how can a stick of willow not be in plant form? But it doesn't have roots, it's not growing, it's not a plant altogether. And it has been dried thoroughly and then soaked and mellowed. So I didn't know what to say. At first I said, well, I said what I just said. It doesn't have roots. It's ready for basket making. This hasn't been processed. Well, how do you process willow? You don't process it. You don't like cut it up and strip all the spark off it. Sometimes you would, I guess. But anyway, it's been dried, soaked, and mellowed. Is that processed? I wasn't sure. I hummed it hard and said, well, okay, I guess so. could buy them like that all in a little row in a some kind of a tray where you have them in your house and they're cemented in like this this could be done like that but they're really looking for bugs of course anything that was alive in, in Canada was hibernating and I wouldn't know and then my orange she said no I don't need the oranges I just need the no she says you can't are they peeled and I said no I said, well yeah I have to have them I said, well, I could peel them. She says, no, I don't have time. Next time, peel your oranges. You can't take the peels in. However, I just ate an orange and there's peels in my garbage. Didn't think about that until I grew up. But we don't grow oranges in Canada, so you have no fears. In fact, they're probably American oranges anyway. Probably Florida oranges. Florida, now that's a nice place. <sighs> I like Florida. Very pretty. How 
Okay, well this has probably gotten to be a very long video. I have to decide how often I'm going to stop. If I have some sort of a routine. See, it's almost noon. I don't really have to stop for meals because I've got my food here. I've got grapes and I've got candy, ginger, and almond butter. <sighs> it's time I ate less anyway. Get my body feeling good. Yes, indeed. There's pretty little clouds over there. Okay, I guess I better turn you off. I'll turn you back on when there's something beautiful like mountains.